Hello and welcome to CRM Tipsters videos. Today's challenge is to schedule a recurrent workflow. But not only that, we would like to do that uh, without writing any code. Not writing any code doesn't mean that code is not required. It just means we are not going to write it. We're just going to use somebody else's. So let's get started. Let's say we would like to send some gifts uh, to our contacts when uh, they have uh, an anniversary. Anniversary could be anything, could be uh, a birthday, it could be wedding anniversary, it could be just uh, the day they signed up to be our customer. And let's say for Joe, this day is today. So the first thing first, we would we need to import a wonderful solution by Lucas Alexander, which is precisely um, does what we want to do. It schedules recurrent workflows. It could be long running workflows uh, spanning hours, days, weeks, months. So after we import the solution, we create a scheduling process. The scheduling process needs a name. Uh, it needs an entity that we can be running workflow against and it needs a workflow. Now we don't have the workflow yet, so let's create one. So what we would like to do is, is to send an anniversary gift. It's a very standard uh, typical workflow you've probably done a thousand times. We just uh, select contact as a target for our workflow. Uh, we select to run it as a child process and then we simply send email to the contact and uh, we say happy anniversary and we congratulate them on their anniversary And we would like to add some gift, and the gift would be, let's say, a shopping voucher. So once this is done, we still need one extra step. What we need to do is to roll over our anniversary date to the following year so that uh, the workflow will be triggered again. And we do it very, very simply by setting anniversary date to 12 months after the anniversary date. And we activate the workflow and now it can be used. This workflow will run daily against the selected context. So which context are included in the selection? Uh, that is defined by fetch XML that we need to enter. We really don't want to enter any fetch XML. So what we do, we switch to advanced find and we say we want to select the context whose anniversary is today. We'll run, we we'll verify, yep, Joe's is included, and we simply click download fetch XML, copy, and paste it back. So now we all set, we just select the next run date and save the record. So what happens afterwards is we go and check that anniversary rolled over to the next one and uh, we should have in our activities an email and here it is that says happy anniversary and it includes our little gift which is just a wonderful voucher to JCPenney thank you for watching